Hi guys, it's Maria the founder of Immigration Biz and in this video I'm gonna discuss very briefly Travel Ban 2.0. So Travel Ban 2.0 is supposed to be in effect this Thursday and is concerning these six countries. Libya, Sudan, Yemen, Somalia, Syria and Iran. So if you're coming from these countries, this travel ban is applying to you. Now, what does this mean? You cannot enter the country for the next 90 days and if you are a refugee, you cannot enter the country for 120 days. However, there is, except, there is exemption. If you are coming to United States as a bona and you can establish bona fide relationship to United States, you are exempt from the travel ban and you can enter. So what is this bona fide relationship? This bona fide relationship is concerning three categories. You have to show ties either in family category or education or business. So let's talk about the first category. Who is in family category? If you have a parent, if you have a child, sibling, spouse, son-in-law and daughter-in-law in the United States, you can enter. You can enter the country. However, the other family members are not included, including your fiancé. They are not included. So you cannot enter the country for this period of time if you have, for example, fiancé or grandparents or grandchildren in the United States. The next one is education. You have to show that you are either enrolled in school and you are studying in the United States, you will be able to enter. The third category is business. If you have a job or business in the United States, you can enter the United States. For example, if you are a researcher or if you are a professor at a university and you are going to speak to the United States, that is considered as a business and you will be able to enter. However, if, for example, you just book a hotel reservation and you want to travel around the United States, that is not enough to show that you have bona fide tied to United States. Now, who is exempt? People who are already in United States, people who have issued valid visa, who have who been and who been admitted in United States as a refugee and or you have a tie to either the family education or the business in the United States or you are a US citizen, or you have a dual citizenship, or you are a permanent resident holder. So these are not, these are not um, banned to enter the country. So I hope this helps. Uh, it's a general information. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them below this video. And if you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our weekly updates. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.